Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds of welterweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. All right, fellas. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. there he may hit the floor there's that right hand he scores with gets rid of that effort action as he just ties up halfway through this round here good job protecting himself good job staying away from the danger there I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Able to dismiss that body shot. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit, start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Just, just keep it up. You just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work. This round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him. Wow, what a right hand he just got caught by, and he's looking to tie up. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. And he's holding. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. <laughs> Little head knocking with that right hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Big 
able to time that left hand and score with it. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just, you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. This sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot <laughs> see him holding on Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Nice job there, hooking to the body. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. That just missed. Right hand lands flush. Wow, is he defensively sound. What about his opponent in a spot like this? I mean, here you got to your guy earlier, you did some damage, but now he's fighting with such a defensive style, it can be frustrating. Yeah, it can be, but you have to make the adjustment. You're gonna deal with stuff. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Wow! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four. You don't need that, no, throw that away. Stay tight, keep jabbing and hitting him. Keep him in front of you, okay? We got don't it. let him move around too much. Let them... Good, fun, entertaining fight if you're a fan, if you're a broadcaster, if you're in these two corners, you're probably sweating now as they've traded knockdowns. Now, you do have him up two rounds to one, though, as we start round number four, Teddy. Yeah, I mean, I think that he served himself a little bit. He learned something from that knockdown. He's been a little more cautious, but he's still being a boss, still controlling things. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. <laughs> that tells me he's still a little drunk. Keep working the body. Off the mark. Nice. 
90 seconds to go in round number four. After being hit himself. Digging in with a left to the gut. That wasn't able to land. And he ties up on the inside. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Able to dismiss it. He scores with the left. Don't stop. Don't stop. You gotta keep working. You, go. you can get ahead, but you gotta keep working. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I wanna see that counter hook. underway another round in a fight that's been very entertaining but I wouldn't want to be a judge this is one of those fights that could go either way nice block there's the uppercut one of my favorite punches and it works that time for him Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Just off the mark. That's a big right hand. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. with that headshot. Final. Oh, what a left hand. Oh, and there you go. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? spot like this before as a trainer right now you know what what do you spend time on you want to spend time on telling him why he got in that spot why he got hit but first you got to make sure he revives you got to get him clear-minded you got to get his senses back first all right deep breath now deep breath relax relax are you all right I don't know that there's any hope here as we start this new round. He's been knocked down numerous times already tonight, including the last round. And I'm sure on that fateful night with Corrales and Castillo, when Corrales had already been on the floor two times, his mouthpiece was out, it looked like it was over. I'm sure nobody thought that it was only beginning. And it was. Corrales came back and scored a knockout.
frustrating his opponent with great defense. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. Here's something that's a key factor now, and that is his ability to simply defend himself. He's doing a wonderful job at it. Yeah, he is, and that gives him the ability to always be fresh and confident round after round since he's not taking a lot of punishment. Halfway through round six. On the mark with a straight left hand. As his target, he lands the straight right. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Seconds to go in this round. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. Look, he's standing straight. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him in this round. Okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. Keep it up, all right? Very good. Very good. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Just missed that shot up top. I want to do some combo. Work the body. Well placed left hand there. Way through the seventh round. And there he is scoring with the right hand. Was just off the mark. He clinches when he gets to the inside. A well-placed left hand up top. Right to the head with that right. Listen, I need to see more confidence, okay? Whenever he misses, go! Here you go! Breathe. 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 I need to see the combinations from you. Here you go! Alright, let's, let's throw the combinations. This fight is way too close. Let's throw the one... Start of round eight, Teddy's scorecard. A well, slight lead here, but I'll say this. He may be up on your scorecards, but 
his opponent knows how to land a punch against him. Yeah, he's found the home for that right hand. He notices that he brings that left hand back slow to the right hand, beat him to the mark. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in and doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. The halfway point of round number eight. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Not able to land the uppercut. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there. Stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's wanting to keep it going that way. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. This is it. You heard it. You don't need that on him. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard in the last round seems as fresh as could be. Well, when you push a fighter, when you push a human being to a dark place, that's when you're gonna find out what's bright inside of them, what's great inside of them. And he's responding just that way. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Carries that punch away. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, nice. makes a miss, and comes right back. Halfway through the ninth round. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Able to show you his blocking ability. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Now he ties up there. Good left there. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Solid shot. The left hand came in. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling him things. And he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him. And they got to right now, they have to revive him. So he's tight. 
He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head and not... Here they go again. It's been wildly entertaining. Come on, bro. Where's the body kid? Unable to score with the hook. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Not able to land the headshot. <laughs> Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. All right, come on, let's finish this. Keep going, just keep going. You're doing great, but let's keep working out there, right? Don't save anything, just let it go. Listen, way to pick his jabs. Nice work. Hard to believe we're in this position as we look at Teddy's scorecard to start round number 11. It was only a few rounds ago, it was a much bigger gap on your scorecard. Yeah, well, he understood. He came to terms with himself. He knew what he had to do. Now it's up to his opponent. Does he come to terms with himself? Does he start doing what he was doing early in the fight? Protecting his head well with his guard. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Locks that belt line well. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Off target with that hook. Solid left hand. Able to land with the right. To the head he goes with a left hand. And he engages in the clinch. Just missed with that punch. Get in there, let's go focus. Some fine fundamentals, good counter punch. Nice mousetrap They let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's, he used distance. 
end of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes out strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was, and whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Final round has arrived. Who wants? Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Well, where was this earlier? All of a sudden now you see he's being effective and being aggressive and outworking his man when for most of the fight, he was the one being outworked. Well, eating about two dozen jabs, you know what? It can change your mind a little bit. He figures now, let the other guy start eating a little. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. Keep moving. Now just wasting away some time with that clinch. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Just a minute to go in this bout. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him around the place. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that ring down, take space away. That was good stuff throughout. Which way did the judges lean? Let's send it up to the ring to find out. You see how nervous these fighters are when they're waiting to hear the decision? That's why. He thought he had a winning effort tonight. It's a draw. I know you never know in this business, but in this business, everybody has to be accountable. I mean, the trainer has to be accountable. The manager has to be accountable, especially the fighter. Why should the judges not be accountable for their behavior and their actions? I mean, it's criminal. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.